Make a Chinese Lantern and Learn About Chinese New Year with artist Yan Li. Hi, kids. I'm so happy to share Chinese art with you. China has 5,000 years civilization history. Chinese art is one of the most unique and beautiful art in the art world. There is a variety of colorful Chinese art. Here, I want to present the Chinese lantern art to you. Every year, Chinese people will celebrate two New Years. One is January 1st, the New Year around the world. Another New Year is a spring festival on the Chinese traditional lunar calendar. Winter ends, spring comes, everything recovers on the earth. Spring is a good season for planting new seeds. You will have a good harvest fall if you have a good spring. So Chinese Spring New Year is the most important festival in China. The whole country will declare with all kinds of lanterns and every family will hang up the art lanterns on the doors and the windows. They believe the beautiful lantern will drive out darkness, coldness, bad luck, and usher brightness, warmth, and good opportunities. February 1st is the 2022 Chinese New Year. Happy New Year, everyone! I'm going to teach you how to make the Chinese lantern with the paper and the scissor and the glue and the yarn. Also, we can use some of the you know, um, streamers. Now would be a good time to pause your video and collect materials. You'll need paper, scissors, glue, and yarn or streamers. We get this you know, paper, then we will fold it from the lid. Okay. <clears throat> then we fold it like this, like this. Then we fold it one more time. One more time. Okay. Then we start the cut. Find the first fold you made, the creased edge. Now make cuts from the creased edge up to the small second fold at the top edge. Make the cuts one to two finger widths apart. Be careful not to cut past the second fold at the top of the page. I finish my cut, okay, like this. Then I open, then open. I think the best way is you do this way, okay? You do this way, huh? You fold it like this, then you, you put it look like this, okay? Then we use the glue. Glue the top, middle, and bottom of one side of the lantern. You will stick the both side first, then stick the, the middle one, huh? Stick this. Okay. After finish, they will look like this, right? They can stand. They can stand like this. You see? It's very, very, very pretty, huh? You can use scissor to cut a hole, also, you can use this, you know, hole punch to do it. Cut two holes across from each other in the top of your lantern. This is for the thread that will hang your lantern. Okay, so we punch the two holes, okay, punch two holes. 
what we want to do because we want to we can hang up right so we use the um the the bit yang for this yang you can do long you can do short depends on how where you want to hang up okay i cut like this tie one end of your yarn or string to each hole in the top of your lantern up to this where you can look like this you know so you can hang up you see this lantern has some you know stream so we can put some streamers too okay so i bought some of this you can use streamers yarn tissue paper or anything else you like so you can you decide which kind of color these streamers you want to put there because this will be really, um, you know, too wide. So I'm going to cut them. Cut streamers or wide paper into skinny strips. Trim your streamers so they're about six to 10 inches long. You can make them about the length of your hand or the length between your elbow and your wrist. Then I'm going to stick this on the on the lantern part. Now you can glue the streamers inside the bottom rim of your lantern. You don't need to use a lot of glue, just use a little bit. The best way is stick it inside. Inside is better, huh? Continue to attach streamers all around the base of your lantern. You can use one color, also you can use uh, different colors. You know, make your lantern is more um, fun and uh, you know more, more more beautiful, huh? So this is uh, um, you know first lantern huh? <laughs> we made. Okay, this is a very simple way and easy way to make a lantern. You can. You can you know, stand this or you can hang up. Okay, this is uh, um, what I'm, you know, for, for teaching you um, about the Chinese lantern art. And I want you can try, you know, just very easy use a paper, different papers and the, just uh, you have a scissor, huh? you have the glue, then you have give some marker and you have the yarn, or if you want some streamers, so you can make the different lanterns. Also, I want you can you know create some new ones, uh, create some new styles. Then you can share with uh, me and your friends, and uh, other your classmates and your teachers and your families. Okay, this is uh, what uh, I want to share with you. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Yan Li has more Chinese lantern styles to share with you. Check out her other videos on our Riverside Otters YouTube channel.